Hi, I'm John with Retro RVs, and today we're going to be talking about the 360 degree camera system that we just installed on this vintage 1965 Airstream. You can see one of the cameras is up here. It has four cameras. So it has the camera up front and then a camera on the side. A camera in the back right up here. And each one of those cameras is a 180 degree camera. And then the computer inside morphs a picture with a bird's eye view of what's going on around the trailer while it's going down the road and in the campground. There's also an add-on that you can put that'll um, record what's going on so you can kind of use it as a security system when the uh, trailer is in storage. So the 360 degree camera system is mounted in the trailer and then it wirelessly communicates with the monitor that you can put in the tow vehicle or you can, if you're at the campground, you can have it inside and watch the raccoons walk by. So now let's uh, get in the car and, and watch it hook up. So now I've got the 360 degree monitor set up inside our tow vehicle and you can see here's our tow vehicle and the front of the trailer and then here's the bird's eye view of the trailer so you can see everything that's going on around it and it morphs all four cameras to give us that view. This will give us the situational awareness as we're traveling around and the cameras will switch as we turn on turn signals or whatever once we're hooked up. So we'll back up to the trailer and the trailer kind of watches us back up to it. Kind of the opposite of a normal um, rear camera that's on the tow vehicle. Okay, let's get hooked up. Jack's out! So we got all hitched up and we've got the um, system plugged into the tow vehicle. So now the tow vehicle will control what picture shows in the side view here. So if I put the car into reverse, we get the rear camera showing us backing up, put it back into park and we have the front view. If I turn on the right blinker, it turns on and shows the right side of the vehicle and you can see the, the truck parked next to us. And if I put on the left blinker, we get the left side. So you still have your situational awareness and you have the look out the side of the trailer as you're about to make a lane change. Next thing we'll do is uh, get underway and see how it looks as we're going down the road. So you can see everything that's going on around as we pull out. You can see the front and the bird's eye view. Now I turn on the blinker and we'll get to the side. There we are. And we can see as the trailer comes around into the roadway. So now as we go along, you can see how this greatly improves your safety and the safety of the trailer because now we can tell what's going on around the trailer as well as the traffic. camera and you can see on the 360 view what lane we're in and the curb and the relationship to everything. So you keep your situational awareness and I just turned on the blinker so now it's gonna when we slow down it's turn to show that side. So we can safely make the corner without scrubbing the wheels on the curb. Yeah. Now we got a car coming up on our left. We've changed over to another lane, but you can see everything that's going on around the trailer as we're going down the road. So you can clearly see the 
the advantages of the 360 degree system over uh, a normal backup camera. And you can also imagine how uh, helpful it is when you're trying to get into a tight camping spot. And then it switches back to the forward view as we're going. camera system is also s sensing the speed of the vehicle and that's why even though the blinker was on it waits until it shows it initially and then it goes back to the forward view and then it shows it at the end as we slow to make that actual corner. Back at Retro RVs. Now we're going to back up into the garage. So you can see how this improves your backing while making sure you're not running the trailer into something. Wow, kind of close to that truck there. And we'll leave it outside for now. Anyway, that gives you a good idea of the 360 degree camera system that we've installed on this 1965 vintage Airstream. <laughs>